Issues Facing the Aston Martin Team the 2023 Formula One season has taken us on a thrilling ride through a whirlwind of memories. Amidst a sea of incredible, exhilarating and unforgettable moments, Fernando Alonso and the entire Aston Martin crew are now gearing up to bid farewell to what is for them a chapter to forget and set their sights on a new beginning. As the racetracks have witnessed Red Bull's dominance this year, it's hard to ignore the electrifying spark that ignited when Aston Martin stormed onto the scene earning the coveted title of the best of the rest. This unexpected twist has transformed the season into a captivating showdown, where contenders are locked in an adrenaline-pumping battle for supremacy. The track has become a canvas for fierce competition, where every turn and straightaway is painted with the colors of determination and aspiration. The Aston Martin headquarters nestled in the heart of Silverstone kicked off the year with an exhilarating burst of energy, emerging as the primary contender to Red Bull's dominance. They took the Formula One world by storm, boasting a remarkable tally of six glorious podium victories in the opening eight rounds of the championship. The echoes of Fernando Alonso's triumphant second place finish in Canada still reverberated in the air, a testament to the sheer skill and determination of the team. Yet fate dealt them an unexpected twist. As the championship saga unfolded, the tides of fortune shifted, propelling other formidable contenders like McLaren, Mercedes, and Ferrari into the spotlight. Like a roller coaster ride, Aston Martin's journey went through exhilarating highs and challenging lows, a thrilling adventure that kept fans on the edge of their seats. A fascinating twist unfolded in the car's performance, adding a new layer of intrigue to the mix. In the early days of the season, the car was like a maestro in slow corners, effortlessly dancing through the turns with finesse. However, as the chapters of the season unfolded, a mysterious change seemed to creep in. The magic that had once propelled the car to shine in those bends appeared to have slipped away, leaving a void in its wake. An interesting shift has occurred. Instead of asserting its dominance, the car now faces a challenge in keeping up with Red Bull's roaring pace. It's as if the performance script has been rewritten, and the car must now navigate through this unexpected plot twist on the racetracks, creating a captivating spectacle for racing enthusiasts worldwide. Fernando Alonso hinted that his Aston Martin team and Red Bull have lost their edge since Pirelli changed the Formula 1 tyre setup at Silverstone. The upgraded and sturdier design surfaced due to the tireless research and development efforts in preparation for 2024. Recognizing the urgency, Pirelli expedited its debut just in time for the electrifying British Grand Prix weekend. The goal? Tackling the escalating downforce challenges head-on, while steering clear of any elevation in minimum pressure requirements. As the murmurs spread across the paddock, the prevailing sentiment suggested that this alteration might not cause a seismic shift in the established hierarchy. Yet, amidst the skepticism that lingered in the air, one individual stood resolute in his conviction. That person was Fernando Alonso, whose unshakable belief remained unwavering, asserting that the ripple effects of this transformation were far from negligible. We are one tenth from McLaren, so it's not as bad as maybe the results look, he said. But yeah, we need to improve. There's no doubt we made a step backward in the last few races and everyone did a step forward. Also, it's a coincidence that when the new Pirelli tyres came to Silverstone, a couple of teams were struggling more and a couple are very happy with the car now. It's not only us, I think Red Bull has clearly been hit with those tyres. They've been 1-2 in every qualifying, 1-2 in every race, and now they're not even in pole position. Jeco Perez is struggling to be in the top 10. At Silverstone, I think Max Verstappen was only 3 seconds in front of Lando. So I see a lot of things a bit abnormal since Silverstone. When questioned about the basis of his tyre-related contemplations, he was asked whether his considerations were taken by the ticking stopwatch, measuring precise seconds, or if they were more a reflection of his personal sensations while gripping the wheel of the racing car. He responded by saying, Both. I think you can fill the car slightly differently with the tyres, but as I said, it's sometimes difficult to be neutral. Obviously, we didn't improve the car much compared to the main competitors. We have new parts every Thursday now, new parts for every team. So it's very easy to see which teams are bringing more and more parts to the Grand Prix. But if I look back to Red Bull after being first and second in every practice, qualifying and race, and now I think this weekend in none of the practice, in Silverstone he was only three seconds in front of Lando. 
I think Red Bull has lost performance since Silverstone, that's a fact. During the exciting Hungary weekend, Alonso hinted that a switch in tyre specs following the British GP might have played a role, giving food for thought. However, the higher-ups at Aston Martin, led by their head honcho Mike Crack, aren't quite convinced. The team principal Crack has firmly stated that their investigations have led them to believe it's not just a singular element like the tyres, but a mix of factors. He pointed to a blend of recent car enhancements and clever setup decisions, which have collectively set off some intriguing side effects for their trusty AMR 23. How we have developed the car is very complex, he said. You change one thing, but never one thing and everything else is fine. You always have side effects when you make changes. And you need to weigh up. Do you use, for example, a part that makes more downforce but has a different character or vice versa? And we think that in one or two situations, we have not the right choice. Crack revealed a sense of doubt that had been in the team's ranks lately. They had a hunch that they might have taken a misstep along the way. Still, when the dust settled after the electrifying Hungarian GP, these inklings became undeniable certainties. Obviously, you already did before, but I think Hungary was the last element in the puzzle, he said. It's a track where we expected to be a bit more competitive and we were not. And that was the last data point to confirm that we have maybe not gone in the right direction. Crack delved into the ongoing efforts of Aston Martin's hub in Silverstone, where a dedicated team is fervently toiling away. Their mission? Crafting strategic updates that can act as a remedy to counteract the unforeseen twists that emerge from their developmental journey. With a glint of hope in his voice, Crack anticipated the arrival of fresh components, carefully crafted and eagerly primed for unveiling in the upcoming series of races. He believed these additions would propel the team forward, carrying with them the promise of potential solutions to the challenges. We are very confident, he declared with a confident grin. It took us a couple of weeks to identify what the issues are and also confirm them. You go to one event, you have issues, you go to another one, they're a little bit different, and then you don't know. So you must always wait a little bit to avoid taking a direction. You could just put parts on the car for the sake of putting parts on the car. This is not what we do. Crack clarified that switching up the tyre construction after the British GP wasn't the game-changing factor in their newfound competitiveness. They wanted everyone to know that this alteration wasn't the main reason for their improved performance on the track. That would be an easy excuse, wouldn't it, he said. We see a little difference with these tyres, but they were brought in for safety, and so from that point of view, everyone has to run them, and it's the same for everybody. So I think we should not use this as an excuse for competitiveness because it's the same tyres that we have to use going forward. So it's about learning as much as possible about them and moving on. Aston Martin is excitedly gearing up, ready to pull off a jaw-dropping transformation. They now stand strong, fully dedicated to chasing after their big dreams, never swaying even when faced with unexpected challenges that have popped up recently. Like determined captains, they're steering their ships towards a future brimming with possibilities, refusing to let anything hinder their voyage. Take a break, sit back, and watch out. Share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.